don't even know what I'm seeing. I know Mary's in a play. I, I don't know the name of it. I don't, you know, I'm, I'm not good with plays. I went to Lion King once. I like that, but that was more of a puppet show than anything. I just, I'm ready for a good time, and I cannot wait. Well, 60s were a pretty swinging time, so I'm sure it'll be a pretty swinging play. How did it go? <laughs> it went very well. It took off. Oh, you know, a Broadway opening. It's so I haven't been on Broadway in 17 years, so it's pretty special for me. It was a great audience, um, and you don't know what's going to happen on opening night. Uh, sometimes they can be confusing, but it, it seemed to be a good show. They're, they laugh their heads off, and they all leave the theater with a huge smile, so it's really nice. We're having the most fun ever. It's, I call it the fart machine of Broadway. <laughs> it's the silliest play ever. I mean, for me, I love like silly, silly. I like when people trip and I like a pie in the face and a fart machine. And it's right up my alley. I think people like silly stuff. I play Gloria Hawkins, who's one of the, the stewardess, the American stewardess. And uh, we're all supposed to represent a different, uh, a different answer, either sex, love, or passion. And I, uh, Gloria represents sex, <laughs> much to my mother's. Chagrin. My dad has not seen it yet. My mom saw it tonight and she was horrified. The good Catholic girl. Exactly. Uh, what are you going to do? I play Gabriella. She's the Italian stewardess. And kind of very, you know, dramatic. And she's kind of a, you know, I don't know. She's funny. I play a German, yeah. I work for Lufthansa. Yeah. My name is Gretchen. The American women are much stronger. It's too much meat and milk, I think. They throw me further and they. I've got lots of bruises. I mean, it's just such a fun, silly uh, play. And it's chicks in miniskirts. I mean, you can't lose. It is a wonderfully written farce. But Matthew Warchus, our director, actually says it's more like a situation comedy because farce usually ends with everybody exhausted and you kind of end it rather quickly. Whereas this, the, the two men actually find one woman to be with and they, there's a lovely moment about the joys of monogamy after all of that kissing and all of that terrible, you know, all those shenanigans. In the end, people are happy. Everybody's happy. It's rather Shakespearean in that way. I think it's a very old form of drama, actually, from the Greek time, that to give people a, a sense of pan, uh, which is part of panic. And, and the thing about this play is that um, all those forces of chaos, which seem to be uh, leading everyone to disaster, actually lead everyone to the loves of their lives. And so it has a very uh, romantic and, and beautiful ending, the piece. There's a cliche that, you know, comedy's hard, and uh, it's definitely hard. <laughs> it's such a technical show, so in terms of the, uh, just even the door slamming, all that stuff, it, it just uses so many other muscles that I'm, that I'm used to. I, I, I've been doing a lot of improvising recently, and so to have to repeat the same joke night after night has been a whole different, a whole different set of, of skills that it's been interesting to learn. I just think it's funny. I think it's a funny situation. I mean, I'm having the time of my life. We dance the curtain call, and we just, we all actually just giggle and dance the whole time. It's silly. I can't believe I get paid for it.